God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Charles Kent, and you've tuned in to another edition of A Word Fitly Spoken. Uh, the gang is all here. Yes, Julian, sir. Julian, how you doing? Very well, thank you. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Dr. Mail? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. What are we talking about today? Uh, what's our word for today? Our word for today is cave. Yeah, cave. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. um, You're going to cave in? No, I'm not. No, no I'm not. Not that kind of cave. No, no, not no, that type uh, of cave. Not that kind uh, of cave. This is a, um, this is a perspective. Tell me, this, 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 this is a perspective. This is something that sometimes we overlook. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, karate kid syndrome <laughs> issue. <laughs> this is okay. not a karate kid. Yeah, it okay, is. Okay, well, when, when explain. It, okay. K karate Kid was Daniel San is learning karate, but he doesn't know that's what he's learning. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah. Okay, he I can go with that. You know, he, he that. paint the fence yes. and yeah. sand that's the right. floor. Sand the floor. That's he right. didn't know. He didn't understand the stroking and that. how that. He didn't yeah, know what that. he was doing. You're right. But 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 the the master uh, Miyagi. Yeah. He knew Mr. what Miyagi. he was doing. Yes, Mr. Yes. Miyagi knew what he was doing, and so God knows what he's doing <laughs> with you. Thank you, Father. He knows. I hear you. <laughs> he I'm, knows I'm, what I hear he's you. doing. I got it. We don't always see it. Mm -hmm. We don't always recognizing the 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 strengths that we're acquiring, the ability that we are re acquiring mm -hmm. as he takes us through this. Right. Right. And so this cave. This cave that David finds himself in is an interesting dynamic uh, for us, particularly those that are in positions of leadership. Mm. You need to recognize <laughs> okay. that God does you. this. Mm -hmm. God well, <laughs> ma maybe we better explain what we're actually talking about. Okay, go rather right Rather than ahead. launching in, because otherwise I'll go, what, what are you talking what about are you with talking David? About? Yes, all right. So where do you want to start? We well, let's start with, with the, the text, of, the text. With, with the text okay. in the book. Well, the, it says at the top is a scripture, which is 1 Samuel 22, verses 1 and 2. So, Mel, would you like to read that, and then we'll go into the book, right. because it leads on from what's in the scripture. All, All right. right, 1 Samuel 22 says, So David departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And when his brothers and all his father's households heard of it, they went down there to him. And everyone who was in distress and everyone who was in debt and everyone who was discontented gathered to him and he became captain over them. Now there were about 400 men with him. The, 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 the verses before this, uh, this is this yeah. brother is is going through something. Going well, through. it says here he's escaping, and then <laughs> by the end of the second verse, he's got four hundred people yeah. with him. He didn't escape too well. Right, yeah, he right. Didn't, yeah, they right. They found him. Yeah, yeah. They found him. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. this the 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 first point that we want mm -hmm. to talk about is the perfection of powerful people and their presentation. Uh, Perfecting powerful people for presentation. For yeah. presentation. Mm -hmm. God is interested in mm -hmm. perfecting mm -hmm. not only David, but other powerful people. Mm -hmm. God is interested in perfecting them and not making them flawless, but mature mm -hmm. and complete. Okay. And so he sends them on this journey. And 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 the, and the funny thing to me is that uh, the personal problems. What's the next point? The personal, personal problems. Personal problems with the example of David. Yeah, yeah. David. David's <laughs> personal got personal, personal problems. problems. Yeah. David is the leader. Yeah, oh, and he got personal. And problems. he got issues. <laughs> mm -hmm. He sure does. Okay, and so I need us to see that this is God's mo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is this is his mo. This is how his mode of operation. This is how he works. Mm. And so, don't trip because you got issues mm -hmm. or you got problems. You got personal problems. And everybody coming to you. And everybody coming to you. <laughs> and you, you and, and and you got issues. You mm -hmm. got problems yourself. But I see this this covert op in the background. The, uh, the subplot is that God is interested in perfecting powerful people to present them. Mm. He can't present you if you are not mature. That's true. If you are mm. not ready, okay. he's yes. not going to put you out there. 
because yes. you you gonna you're not, make a yeah, you gonna make a global mess. Yeah, you, you, global you, mess. Is, yeah, that's a good word. You you're not going to, and so God has to deal with uh, with with David and his personal problems. Mm. And, and a couple of verses prior to David escapes to the cave, David plays crazy. <laughs> and 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 verse read verse thirteen, Will. <laughs> Uh, of, of chapter 21. Oh, oh 21, 13, yeah. when he acting a fool? Yes. So he disguised his sanity before them and acted insanely in their hands and scribbled on the doors of the gate and he let his saliva run down his beard. <laughs> this is David. Yeah, he really played crazy. David is now freaking out. Yeah. Okay, because Well, he is he freaking out or is he doing it so he can get away? Yes. And hopefully they yeah, won't follow that. him. Yeah. That's yes. what yeah. I'm right. And they wouldn't gonna, follow him. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. They're not going to follow a madman. Right. So I'm going to pretend I'm a <laughs> madman so they leave me alone. So the, yeah, that's a good point. It I is. Yeah. It is. Oh, that okay. is the point. But what I'm trying to say is that you believe that this is the answer. This is the only yeah, way right. that, that you the can only get way, away. Yeah. That's a problem. God done left you, and the only way out <laughs> is for you to act crazy. And then it didn't work anyway. Didn't work because they all followed him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this, I, I, so I, I can't do that. No, you can't. Yes, you can't. Try. You, you can, can try. You can try. <laughs> But people act strangely when they get backed up against the wall, yeah. and, and and they and they think that it's okay. They think that uh, whatever I have to do to get out, you know, whatever yeah, I have do to, what do I gotta do to, get to, to, to get out of this mess, and they and they say, get this crazy man away from us, and he does, he escapes. But I'm trying to point out the personal problems that David has, the challenges that the he brother is dealing with, and God allows you and I to see this. Hmm. God allows us to, to to see all of the brother's warts, all of the brother's issues, and 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 he's exposed for years and generations <laughs> as one that played crazy yeah. in order for him to get away from the enemy. Uh, that is not something that you want to see on CNN. That's not something no. that you want to hear about. <laughs> you don't want everybody to know that. You, no, you don't. It's some you business don't. that you just don't want people to hear about. He didn't about. care at that point, though. I think he just didn't care. <laughs> he didn't. He's like, look, I'm trying to break free. I, and, mm -hmm. and, and so he clowns yeah. and acts and, and acts. saliva <laughs> running down. That's what the Bible <laughs> says. That's what it says. It says, it says saliva he And he scribbled on the doors. <laughs> yeah. and it, you know, yeah. That's what it says. King says. David, the son, <laughs> the Lord is my well, shepherd. He, uh, admittedly, he wasn't the king yet. He wasn't no. the king he yet. That's king right. Yet. So it was all before that. But, yes, he, yes. but what is God doing? He's perfecting, perfecting him. Because he's a powerful person. And he's, he's perfecting, perfecting him. him. And he's needed in, in no, the rest of this world. You know, I mean, obviously there yeah. was a plot for that. But let's so. get that right. He's not perfecting him. He's perfecting powerful people for, for presentation. Yes. So he's perfecting. Perfecting you for the presentation, <laughs> That's a mouthful. not making you be perfect. No, that's because right. Because there was right. only no, no. one who was ever perfect, that's right. and oh. they crucified him. Okay, no, sorry, it wasn't you. No, no. I'm Jesus, so <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, we 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 say this with all due respect <laughs> to David. We 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 have no we we have no problem with you, brother. We appreciate the things that you have done. Mm -hmm. We are just trying to help others yeah, that are yeah. in the midst, in the of, midst being of being yes. perfected. perfected yeah. yeah, and in the midst of people right. that are okay, destined for you. greatness. I hear you, Father. Uh, they, they, <laughs> you need to see the prototype. Yeah. You need to see the example. Mm, so I, you need to understand that this. Is God's MO as it relates, relates to perfecting, perfecting powerful, powerful people, people. Mm -hmm. in order that you might be presented properly. Mm -hmm. Presented properly. Did you see that? Yes, mm -hmm. I, I saw that. that. Yeah. You can't mm -hmm. be presented properly if you don't have some scars. I'm just I'm just saying it. You can't be presented properly. You can't relate to people. And then look at the people that God that David now escapes. Mm -hmm. He escapes. He, he, he wants to get away. He's, he ain't, he's not thinking about ministering to anybody. Mm -mm. He's not no, interested. No, that wasn't even a thought. No, he's not interested in ministering mm -hmm. to nobody. I don't know if you've ever been there. If you just mm -hmm. felt like in your head, called of God to be king, all of that, writing psalms and all <laughs> this kind of stuff, and you don't wanna, you don't wanna see nobody. You don't want to talk to nobody. Mm. You don't want to be around anybody. 
and, 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 and that's where this brother is. And it is a cruel and vicious environment in his head. Mm -hmm. It's yes. a cruel and vicious environment in his heart. Mm -hmm. It's a cruel and vicious environment that he has heard in his ear. In his ear, yes, yeah. yes. And God is still sending folk to him. I just cannot understand that. I can't understand that. Why would you send anybody mm -hmm. to David in his state of mind? Well, let's get let's go and read this book part read, then, because you know this is they got to at least get the basics because you're getting ready to hit real hard. Okay. <laughs> So, can you imagine the situation that David wants to just get away from it all? He finds a cave to hide in, but he must drive out the previous tenants, the wild animals, the snakes, the bears. Nobody wants to live in a cave. Well, there are cave dwellers, but no, <laughs> normally no. David thinks nobody will find him there. But when the people recognize the anointing on mm. your life, they will come to you, no matter where you are, no matter what you're going through <laughs> personally. Come on. Then. David escapes to the cave of Adullam. So when his brothers and his entire father's house heard it, they came to him. Everyone who was in distress, in debt, was discontented, gathered to him. So he became captain over them, and there were about 400 men with him. <laughs> when people are meant to be with you, a cold, dark, dreary, animal-infested environment will not keep them away. Mm. The word got out, where's David? He's in a cave. Notice what they don't say, like, why is he in the cave? <laughs> they just say, right, I'm out of here. I'm going where my leader is. See. I'm connected. He has what mm. I need to breathe, um, what I need to survive, and what I need to thrive. Mm. 400 men end up joining David in this cave. Now, there's two perceptions mm -hmm. to cave, mm -hmm. two yes. perspectives. The cave can either be a cruel and vicious environment mm -hmm. and it often is when you're going into it mm -hmm. but then a cave can also be a cultivating atmosphere for a victorious exit mm. David trains them in this cave on how to be mighty men of valor and the cave changed from a cruel and vicious environment to cultivating atmosphere for a victorious exit which cave are you in? Mm. Um, mm. It is mm. the, 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 <laughs> the cruel and vicious environment. Uh, let's talk about it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the animals that are in the cave snakes. that are snakes and all they're, that they're, stuff. you know, all kinds of wild animals that are in the cave. But you know what I'm thinking about, Julian, is the animals that are in his head. Mm -hmm. Ah, that could be a cruel and vicious environment as well. Yeah, I'm thinking mm -hmm. about yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the the animalistic nature that mm. is in his head, the thoughts that are the in thoughts. his head. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the, and no amount of physical running is going to get you away from that. Right. No, that's true. You can run and run and run, and you cannot hide. And 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 I see Not from this. Your thoughts. Mm -hmm. I, I mm -hmm. see this so much when people. Uh, are are destined for greatness mm -hmm. that the enemy will attack you in your head. Yes. Oh, he yes. will attack you in your brain. Mm -hmm. He will attack you in your soulless realm, your mm -hmm. emotions. You done played crazy be, to get away from the the, the opposition, the mm -hmm. and and now your 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 thinking is that I need to get away. Mm. Mm. Your your thinking is I need to escape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't need to face whatever I'm fearing. I need to flight. I need to flight. Yeah. It's got to be flight. And 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 I'm trying to get us to see that that's not God's MO. That's not God's way. God is going to take us and I I I beg of you to be to be attentive to what the Spirit of God is saying. You cannot run from your fears and become effective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Come on, somebody write that down. You cannot run from your fears and be effective. You have got to face your fears and you've got to deal with them or they're going to deal with you. <laughs> that's the truth. Yes. 
<laughs> you either you either, either conquer do. them, conquer them, or, or they're they, gonna conquer you. And exactly. so David said, "This is my this is my this is my hideout. Mm -hmm. This this cave." And then he runs into all of these issues in the cave, the animals and the and the and the cold and the wetness. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather be here. Are y'all listening mm -hmm. to me? Mm -hmm. I'd rather be mm -hmm. here than where God wants me to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's very, very interesting. You um, you and I were watching something just a, a day or two ago uh, about a uh, is it a basketballer? Yes. Yes. And what they said about him was exactly what you're talking about here. Right. Uh, and and God, if you want to uh, bring it out, you know, that you no, cannot run from your fears. Get, uh, fears. What's the M MVA? M MVP. And the MVP? Yeah. Oh, him. God. Yeah. He, he said, yeah. he said, now I'm not throwing shade on <laughs> anybody, but I do know what the brother said. The interviewer said that uh, at the beginning of the year, all the team had a meeting and they determined what their individual fears were oh. at the beginning of the year in in the in the in the pre practice and the right. season That's starts right. they determine what is your fear and they decided that they were going to attack their fears all year long okay which which as we see ended up in the in the championship they ended up becoming champions yeah because they, they didn't attacked it. they didn't they, allow it to they, overcome this no mm -hmm. no yeah yeah and 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 people began to criticize the mvp for his lack of this his lack of that his lack of the other well, only the one i remember is the free throw shooting yeah, the brother he was, horrible, he was at it. horrible he was horrible at it i felt so bad for him and, 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 <laughs> and, and, bad. and when the rubber met the road it didn't matter it, he hit 17 out of 19. Yep, in, in the, the end. In, at the end. Yes. When it mattered most, mm -hmm. he did not run from those fears. He he no, ran toward them. He actually kept trying too. I, as he we watched quit. him all year. I was like, man, I'm sad that he can't get it to the hoop. <laughs> I was really hurting for him. Like, dude, just push a little further. That's all. <laughs> it hit the backboard for crying out loud. It'll drop in. <laughs> But he couldn't get it, and he just kept pushing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, what do you do with that? Yes. So so you now have, and, and he has now two other brothers yes, he that are now champions. Yep. When they started out in Nigeria as, 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 as tough life, and they moved, Mama moved them to Greece. And, that and, opened and the door. That opened the door for yep. them. And they began to perfect their craft. They yep. began to enjoy themselves. And now Mama got three boys in the mm -hmm. NBA, and they're mm -hmm. all wearing championship rings. So it's coming back to your point. You cannot run from your fears and be effective. So what they learned to do was to chase after and confront their fears, mm. run towards their fears, and now look how effective they have become. And, 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 mm. and Julene, David is now where? Mm -hmm. He's 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 running from his fears. He's mm -hmm. running. He he's is. running from his fears. God has anointed not only you to be a great man of God, <laughs> but for you to impact others, others. to be great. Mm -hmm. But but I mean, but did he? I mean, he did run. Yes, he did. he did. Oh, you're not going to give run. him an out, are you? I, I'm going to give him a slight out. He did run, but you know what ended up happening? It didn't matter. He ran to go there. He could have go gone in there just to, to run away, but the people knew enough about him that they said, I'm going to. Mm -hmm. So he was forced, really, to face his fears at this point with, what, with them there. Yes. He had no choice. So mm -hmm. even though he ran, God still will send them. Mm-hmm. We can run all we want. But yeah. he, he feels God wasn't it. letting him have an out. No, no, he wasn't. He feels inadequate. David feels yeah, like feels giving up. Yes. David felt yes. probably suicidal. I just don't want to I, I don't want to do, I, I don't wanna do this anymore. And 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 let's be real. We sometimes get to that point in this <laughs> walk because <laughs> God wants to see. That's just I'm just giving That's you a truth. little indicator. It's the truth. God wants to see how bad you want it. God mm -hmm. wants to see what kind of God knows what's in us. We just don't know. That's right. And God wants to show you and I that uh, you got what it takes. You got what it takes. I yes. wish I could have been in his head when the light came on. Ah, yeah, that would have been nice. When the light yes, come light. on, yes. all yes. these people coming to him and saying, we need you, we need <laughs> you, we respect you as, as our king, and we respect you as our leader. And you, We want you to lead Yeah, us. and you feeling like you have no idea. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not the one. <laughs> but I guess at that point, though, you must feel really good when people like, dang, even in this state, they really want to, they really want I'm, me. I'm you thinking know. about Naomi. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 oh, yes, and, the way and, she was pursuing, yeah, you know, and, Ruth was pursuing Ruth, her. And Naomi said, go. I'm yeah, not, please go. I'm bitter. That's, I'm <laughs> bitter. I'm not better. Don't I'm call bitter. Me Don't, yeah. Yeah. call me Myra. Yeah. Yeah. I'm bitter. Yeah. I'm bitter. And, and, and God allows us to see this mm -hmm. in these great people of uh, God yes. that God used mightily. Why do we not believe that this could happen to you and I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> No. I don't even hear Why that. do we not perceive that this is not a pattern? Yes. Why do we not he, recognize? He's persistent. Trust that, me. That it, this it is not the else. blueprint. No. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is the blueprint for sure. All right. I I get it. Okay. Thank All you. All right. <laughs> I get I, it. I, I am I am after uh, this presentation. Yes. God is after this presentation mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the public. Yeah. God is after, the, and so what He does in private yeah. is going to determine what, what you do in, in public. public. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like preaching. That's it. Go ahead. It, we it, need to it, offer it, it is what He does with you in private, in your head, mm -hmm. when you feel like you're less than, mm -hmm. when you feel like nobody cares, mm -hmm. nobody wants to hear what you got to say. God has sent, but look at the people that God sends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the people that he says, those that are broke, busted, and disgusted. I was just yeah. going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at, That's and, the one. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and we can definitely and help them. No, the but way. why does he do that? Why are those the people that he sends? Because they're the ones that he can use. Because when you're in a place where you're broke, busted, and disgusted, there's no pride left. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. So you are at a point now where God can completely use you. And you're open. You, yeah, you're open. exactly. Oh, you, 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 yeah, you're on death row. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're open. You're, you're open. You're anything, you're just yeah, tell me yeah, that at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, basically you've come to the end of yourself or you've come to the end of your rope. And, and, and this, there's no, no other no. alternative now. So but, but these are... And now God can use you. And these are the people that are heir apparent mm -hmm. to becoming mighty men of valor. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. they these, are. These, they can't even manage a checkbook. They, 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 mm -hmm. they tow up from the flow up and, 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 and God sends them mm -hmm. into, and I would to God, I could bend a fly on the wall in the cave as to how David cultivated them to become great. Mm -hmm. what, what do you do in a cave that causes people to come out of the cave feeling like they, one of these dudes I read uh, uh, mm -hmm. David said, would to God I had some water. Remember that? Mm -hmm. He said, would to God I could get some water from the streams of Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. These men of valor, these great risk men. Risked their lives to go and get him some water. their lives to get him some water. From a particular stream. Mm. So what was it about David that was drawing them? It had to be something in him they saw that David didn't see in himself. Either. Correct. And so they saw you something. You repeat that? It had to be something that they, you know, they saw in David that David didn't see in himself. You want exactly. to say that just one more time? Yeah, just I ain't going to say it because I know why you're doing it. I get what you're doing. <laughs> There's got to be something in David. Mm -hmm. There's got to be something in Juline mm -hmm. that Juline doesn't see in herself that drew Dude. people. Yep. There's got to be something in you, Charles, that, that you don't see in yourself yeah. that, that causes, causes people, people to, to be drawn, drawn towards you. Mm -hmm. Because there's a, there, it's the anointing. It's the anointing. It's the burden removing, yoke, yoke destroying, destroying power of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. And when they see transformation in your life, when they see you overcoming, when they see you can't, we heard that you played crazy last week. We, mm -hmm. we, <laughs> it was on Facebook. <laughs> it was all on Twitter. All over Facebook. Yeah, yeah, that you was crazy. You played crazy last week. And now you're on the run. What? They don't ask those questions. Mm -mm. They just say, Where is he? Yeah, where is he? Okay, yep. well, let's go. Yep. Because of mm -hmm. what? They understand. And this is something that people don't recognize re readily. The anointing of God that is on their leader is something that God is drawing yeah, you it's a to. Draw. Yes, it's, yes. it's a pull. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shoot. Mm -hmm. And depending upon where you're going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> will depend on how strong that is. Yeah. 
that pull mm -hmm. is strong, yeah. Mm -hmm. Depending upon where you're going, if you're going to four, your four, and, and no, no more, more yeah. then it's you'll, not need, be that yeah. you'll need a TT anointing. <laughs> You'll be drawn to a TT you anointing. That back. And, and, but if you are destined mm -hmm. to becoming the mighty mm -hmm. men of mm -hmm. valor, yes, the, they they told David to go home. I'll fight this. You 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 are the prince That's right. of Israel. That's right. I'll yes. I'll I, risk we'll my life. I, yes. I got For you. this. Yes. That's some bad. That's some that's, bad. That's dudes. serious. But how do they get there, Julian? How do they how do they evolve into this type of character? Uh, in and in in, in, in the third point that I made is it's the public persona. The public persona, the public persona is that they they done lost it. They done, they following a loser. They mm -hmm. the, the public persona. That's it, what the public sees. That's yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because ain't nothing happening. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing happening right now. Right they now. don't see, uh, if you'll read just a little bit before, there were 3,000 men mm -hmm. that Saul had chosen to run David down. Mm -hmm. Word had got out on the street mm -hmm. that David was it, escaped to this cave. Right. And, and Saul, with his fleshly self, <laughs> sent 3,000 soldiers to find him. And David, now listen, what, listen to this. David escapes to the cave after playing crazy, and then you got 400 men that are broke, busted, and disgusted. Will and they know that 3,000 of the enemy yep. is coming, and they still go after David. Yes, so that's a strong pull, right that's there. That's right. Yeah, because they they saw the anointing. They saw something that David, of course, didn't see in himself again, but they saw it and said, thought it was worthy of that too the worthy of me to go there because I want to be part of that. Mm -hmm. there's something, they saw something. There, there's some, and there was something in them. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, made, that's right. It's they had them. made mistakes, Julene. They yeah. had messed up. Yes. They had made all kinds of mm -hmm. financial errors. They had made all kinds of personal errors. Everything, the, everything mm -hmm. was a wreck in their life. But they still had a had a pool. Mm -hmm. They had a, mm -hmm. they still had a seed of greatness within them, and 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 that seed was connected to someone mm -hmm. that they saw that greatness in. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I I I I cannot. I'm not apologetic. I saw something in my leader, and my leader just happened to be 14 and a half hours flight away. Mm -hmm. And I yearned to sit at his feet. I, I didn't have to go 11 miles. I didn't have to go. And, and I think that God chose it that way mm -hmm. just so that mm -hmm. I could see how bad I wanted it. I, yeah, yes. I'm getting ready to yes. say that, you know, because yeah. you could have easily have chosen someone around in the area. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I didn't you, choose. You were persistent and you were like, no, I'm going to do this. And now that I, I make that kind of sacrifice, Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going. You yes. know, I'm going to keep pushing myself to do that because there's something there. Um, mm -hmm. Similar to what you said about the car situation. You're like, you pay all this beautiful money for your car, mm -hmm. but what about your Bibles? <laughs> and mm -hmm. so, but you forced us into really looking at that going, yeah, so I'm real. This is going to take me somewhere. Right. The things that I need exactly. to study. Yeah. Yeah. My car going to take me somewhere too, but it will eventually die out. Yes. You know, you, you're talking about this public persona and the public persona towards you was you said to me that people would say to you, you know, T.D. Jakes has come to town or, you know, there's this one here and there's that one there. Are you going to follow them? Oh, no, you're following that, that, old, man. that old white guy from Australia. Yeah. Yeah. And that was that was the public perception that they had of him. They didn't know him from a bar from Adam, of soap. Yeah, because they he, didn't know who he was. They had no idea of the global implications and impact that he had, you know, and the doors that it would open for you and what that was going to do. But that's a good the, point, and, though. You know in the I mean? plan of mm -hmm. God, this yeah, is that's what right. I'm trying that to say. That was getting ready to say. Yes. That was a good point. In the yes. plan of God, God is interested in shaping me mm -hmm. to have a global. Ministry. That's right. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just for here. Mm -mm. This and, was supposed to be everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And don't get that wrong. I'm not throwing shade on T.D. Jakes or anyone else. No, no, that's no. not what yeah, this is not. about. Yeah, no, we're, so, we're, and and but, I'll even you know. expound a little bit on that, too, because I think that that's where we get lost. You know, mm -hmm. that one wasn't for you. 
Yes. He wasn't, you weren't supposed to be there. He it's got enough that he everyone. did. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's not them. That pool mm -hmm. is not yours. Yes. And so, you know, Pastor Budge was your pool. He was the one that's supposed to mentor you. Yes. yes. You know, i.e., mm -hmm. same thing. I met you at the airport in mm -hmm. that little coat. And it so wasn't a little it, the coat, coat was small. Yeah. Inspector Gadget coat. It was an Inspector Gadget coat, and it was small. You know. <laughs> but you know what? But who would have thought? Because we thought it was something else, didn't we? Yes. We thought we were going down there to to, to, to do some humanitarian thing, but in essence, it was for this. Yes. What yes. we're doing today, which is talking to the world. It yes. is important that you get the mind of God mm -hmm. in your in your. Uh, cave environment exactly in mm. what you mm. consider to be a cruel and vicious environment mm -hmm. get the mind of god exactly. because you have no idea that this that you consider to be cruel is cultivating mm -hmm. yeah, and have. forget the public persona forget what people say about it yes. if right. god has called you he's called he you called there you. for a reason there's a very That's right. specific reason that he has called you to who he's called you to and that brings us on to our step four our mm -hmm. point four yep. or your point four which is persistent protege so are you going to be persistent? That you would, know? Be, that would and, be me right there. Hungry <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> you know, and you were persistent. You would have moments where you'd drop back and, you know, we wouldn't see you in Australia for a little while. And then all of a sudden you'd be back, be back again, again, you know, and, and you couldn't even if you wanted to stay away. And sometimes you really did. Sometimes you didn't like that. And, and you would not want to come. That's because he was telling the truth. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know? yeah. But there was a drawing and you couldn't stay away. Yes. And you kept coming and you kept coming. Yeah. It, it's, a, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reality mm -hmm. after the fact. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are things that this man taught me mm -hmm. uh, as it relates to uh, race relations, as mm -hmm. it relates to... Uh, uh, coming in and going mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. among uh, uh, different ethnic groups mm -hmm. and all such as that, that I would have not gotten. I just don't see myself getting not from anywhere Chicago. else. No, uh -uh. no <laughs> I was I was not brought. I, I, can't even, I don't even want to I don't even want to go into how I was reared and, and my <laughs> attitude mm -hmm. toward other races. Other races. Yeah. yeah I, it, it, it's, we it, had it. Yeah. And so therefore God in his infinite wisdom had to do that with me mm -hmm. and show somebody show me an example of unconditional love and and when that man we were in Michigan and it was <laughs> it was two black people out of 800 it oh, was no, no, no. Not two? that many. He can't fit that many in there. It was. It was. It's about three hundred max in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. But two black. Two people, black yes. people that you could count, which is really no, interesting. No, two. Like, it was two. It was, it was truly two. two. It, it was, was truly two. two. You were one of them. I was yes. one of them, and Ralphina yeah. was the Ralphina. other one. Ralphina. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six mm -hmm. four. Uh, Ralphina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ralphina. And so, mm -hmm. I'm like, what in the world have I gotten myself into? I, I'm, I, I followed him. Are you listening to me? I followed him because he was my instructor. Mm. I followed him uh, because he said I needed to be there. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and that's what you do when you are a persistent protege. Mm -hmm. You follow. <laughs> yes. You don't always agree, but you follow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, and, yes. and in the following, you receive a double portion. Mm. Yes. In Amen. the following, in, in the closeness mm -hmm. of your following, mm -hmm. hey, you receive that, yeah. a double portion. I receive it. And, and we, 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 two black people in that whole room. <laughs> and I turned around and I saw her and I said, you know, I need to know who she is. I turned Where, around she and she was, she was breathing over my neck. <laughs> and she said, who are you? Who are you? That's what she said to me. Ralphina. And 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 what I'm trying to get us to see is that in your following, in your submission, mm -hmm. uh, in your recognition of being, and this man stood up. I will never forget this, uh, Mel. He stood up because he was recognized among that group as a leader, as a father to many of them, mm -hmm. and he said, "I have Dr. Charles Kent here." Uh, from Arlington, Texas. He is my son. Can't you tell the resemblance? <laughs> I remember that. Can't you see the that. family resemblance? I remember that. Oh, God. <laughs> I remember you, Just, me that. you should have seen the death chill that came over that place. Like, oh, but that was his persona yeah. and that was his statement mm -hmm. consistently. 
and it just broke. And and you, that's funny that you say that too because um, I know me and you've had a conversation lately by some of the stuff that I put out, and you're like, that you are my daughter. I, <laughs> she's, she's catching on. She's catching on. I'm catching on, obviously, because I'm starting. And I do. I mean, I, I tell you, I, I do draw from you a lot because I'm like, and I'm I'm very careful. And I know you were this way with Pastor Budge, that about what you're putting out there. Yes. Because mm-hmm. if it ain't right. You know, it's gonna mess up somebody. Exactly. And so, I mean, you've taught me how to be uh, precise, and I'm, I'm sure that's what came from Pastor Budge as well. Oh, he was, he was. Well, he wasn't playing. No, no, he, 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 uh, he cracked some knuckles, and even as a child, you were telling me about his detail, his particularness about detail and word pronunciation. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they had to study dictionaries. It's just stupid stuff. Just, Makes sense yeah. though. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. no, because I've seen somebody butcher a couple words, and I'm like, no, hello, stop, no, <laughs> no, that's not what that's. Mm-hmm. This ain't what that says in here. If you're <laughs> going to be, if you're going to impact the globe. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be called to be mighty men of valor, mm. yes. then you have to have mighty men of valor ministry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be called to, to be greatness, then you've got to have a great example. Yeah. Yes. And yes. you've got to yield yourself to that Amen. in order for mm-hmm. you to catch the, uh, the if, 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 if you don't recognize that there's a double portion that is available, then you'll miss it. Mm. If you don't recognize that, that destiny true. says that we have a right to to that, when mm-hmm. whatever you serve, that's what you're going to reap from. Yes. Mm. And he yeah. told me, he said one day, he says, I can be a lot of things to you mm-hmm. if you let me. If you let me. Yes. If yes. you let me. You got some notes that, over that, there. Oh, yeah, I, I did. You know, because you, you kind of prompted me because I said, you know, this didn't just happen to David, though. You know, it happened to a lot of people in the yes. Bible. There was a whole lot of people that kind of had that. And you were saying perfecting powerful people for presentation. And I thought of Noah was another one. Mm-hmm. The same thing happened with Noah. He was a leader um, that does what's right even when he, he was alone, right? Mm-hmm. It said Noah always tried to do what's right even though others were doing wrong. He was still walking that line. And so I, I liked him. Um, Abraham was another one. Mm-hmm. He embraced the unknown on a lot yes. of things. Yes, yes he um, did. Joseph, of course. We got to put Joseph in there. <laughs> Joseph was one. Moses, mm-hmm. Joshua, mm-hmm. of course, David. We talked about him, and then Isaiah too. Mm-hmm. And you know, he rose to the occasion. Mm-hmm. Every one of these people, God dealt with severely. He did. Yes. God what? dealt mm-hmm. with their mm-hmm. their cave mentality. mentality. What about Peter? The, Peter too. In, oh in my gosh! Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, forgot about Peter. Uh, <laughs> God deals <laughs> with your serious. your your. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. he he know. God knows that you cannot lead and teach generals. You can't teach mm-hmm. generals and and leaders if your head is messed up. Mm. Yes. If you have got animals and corruptness in your head and mm-hmm. and it's going to and it's in your heart, I just don't feel that I'm worthy or I just don't feel that I can do this or mm-hmm. I just I just I just I just Mm-hmm. God has to, mm-hmm. the scripture says that David had to drive out the animals. The animals, yes. yes. And I'm telling you that God is interested in driving out the fear. God did not give you the spirit of fear. No. Where's the camera? God did not give <laughs> you the spirit of fear. If you got fear, it did not come from God. No. That's right. Let and me, why are you opening up. up somebody else's mail? That's a federal offense. You go to jail. <laughs> Stop opening up other people's mail. Mm-hmm. God did not give you the spirit of fear, but of what? Of power, power. and of love, love and, and a, a sound, sound mind. mind. And mm-hmm. so when we recognize that this spirit of fear did not come from God, this spirit of mm-hmm. inadequacy mm. did not come from God, but God has a reputation of taking that which seems to be nothing and yes. making, making something. it something. something. Let, let, let's look at um, Maxwell, because you know Maxwell, I love that man personally, but um, it says in here, the, the law of buy-in, Doc. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, obviously David did something, he drew them in, however, somehow, I don't know how it happened, but, but he, it says here, David attracted these men even without pursuing them. Yes. And that's, that's because there's that inner draw. 
Okay. Uh, you know, and then he drew deeply, uh, drew deep loyalty out of them without ever trying to get it. Wow. So, you know, mm-hmm. what, you know, what wow. happens there? So obviously there's, there's still a pull. There's an inner draw there. And then David transformed these men without disenchanting them over their initial state. He ain't talk about what they used to be. No, he yes. didn't. He just kept going with what he had yeah. mm-hmm. and kept moving forward. Yeah, and that's then he, a strong... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because mm-hmm. we would not have chosen them to right. go to war college. No. no. <laughs> we would not have chosen David, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah that's a we, good point. We would have disqualified David long before and, this and, point and, in and, time. And mm-hmm. that takes a keenness of mm-hmm. discernment. Mm-hmm. It takes a... Just because you show up at the cave door does, does not, not mean, mean that you're going to stick it out. Nope. Mm-hmm. And David, I'm sure, David has to deal with them to determine, to determine. Mm-hmm. whether or not you're going to hang in here. That's right. Whether or not you're yeah. going to allow mm-hmm. me to put something in mm-hmm. you that is going to cause mm-hmm. you to be not, not yeah. a private, but mm-hmm. a lieutenant mm-hmm. or a general mm-hmm. or See, an he officer. He was looking even beyond yes. Yes. the beginning of I that. Can't, I cannot mm-hmm. tell you how important it is for me to share with you two particularly the importance of you getting it right. Mm. Because you're going to reproduce it. That's yes. right. And what are you? What are you going to reproduce? What are you going to tell others? Just like he said, that they fought. They bought into David right then yes. for his vision first, and then his leadership. So something he was doing was pushing them. Because it said in the beginning of this, he had to train these losers if he wanted to create an effective army. <laughs> I started cracking up. I'm like, dang, you had to call him that. But he pushed them into his vision. They started to buy into what he was saying, and then they saw the power. And I wonder today, do you see yourself as a loser? Mm-hmm. I, I wonder today, do you envision the fact that you, you had to file bankruptcy? Mm. Uh, you, you, mm-hmm. you, you came from a broken home and a busted relationship. Do you see yourself mm-hmm. as a loser? And if you mm-hmm. do, then um where do you go from there yeah you? yeah what do you do yeah what what do you do if that's where you're at mm-hmm. and, and if we have people watching and that's where they're at where do they go from here they go to the cave they go to the okay, cave. okay so let's let but what's you in the need cave to, yeah. yeah well not just what's in the or cave who? but give a practical so what do you mean for what does it mean for them today okay so we see david went to a physical cave so what is what does that look like for a person that's in that's that right position now. right now? What do they what does that mean yeah. they need Help to do? They Help, they them, they they need to pray. Mm-hmm. Uh, they need to uh, where's my PTSD? Uh, they <laughs> they need to pray number one, mm-hmm. and they need to recognize that th- that God will lead them. Mm-hmm. Just like these four hundred men, they will find. God brings people across your path. Yes, yes, yes. yes that yes, you don't does. even recognize is brought across your path mm-hmm. for this reason. Yes. I met this man and 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 to take him around to show him around town. I had no intentions or even any mm-hmm. reco- no. recollection that mm-hmm. this man would impact my life for thirty no. plus years. You were okay. simply going to take them to Six Flags over Texas. And then right. let that be yeah, it. That's what you, know. you thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And God knew that I was hungry. I was hungry for something. And and so I'm saying to you that if you, if mm-hmm. those that hunger and mm-hmm. thirst after, after righteousness, righteousness mm-hmm. God is the one yes. that will lead yes. them. But if you are listening mm-hmm. to me right now, mm-hmm. I do not fool with privates. I, I'm sorry. I'm not a babysitter. I am a leadership Mm. development person. If you are being drawn by the Spirit to me and this anointing, then it's because God desires for you to have global impact in the world. Uh, The the scripture says, go ye ye into into all all the world. world. Yes, all. Mm -hmm. All. What part of go do you not understand? (laughs) What part of all do you not understand? And and, and so so we have been trained yeah. We have been trained mm-hmm. to be selected like mm-hmm. Philip. Yes. To to cut against racial issues. Yep. We have Amen. been trained and wired to 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 be selected when there's turmoil and mm-hmm. there's bias mm-hmm. and there's prejudice. And discrimination. And if you don't want that, 
you you you're not being drawn to me. You're mm. not being drawn to this anointing because mm. I will tell you, you just don't, don't care. care. Mm. You're not concerned about reaching everybody. everybody. And if you are a part of an all whatever type environment, then this is not for you. Mm -hmm. This is not for you. Yes. If you got to have a certain status in life, a certain car, a certain place, a certain this, mm -hmm. in order for you to become a part, then this is not for you. Because mm -hmm. yep. I told God that I would go where anybody, where nobody else wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And he's already called me in on the carpet on that. Oh, you didn't tell me that before we got married. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, pray. Mm -hmm. Pray turn stay and depart yes pray turn, turn stay, stay and then depart. and then depart mm. it, it's that's our advice to you recognize recognize that you need to pray mm -hmm. you need to seek God you need to determine that you are going to cry out mm. and 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 don't feel that you can you can do this on your own yeah yeah don't don't no. get all ostracized mm -hmm. to the point where you feel yeah. that you don't need somebody to speak into your life. Mm. That's mm. a mistake. Mm. That's, that's a mistake, a huge mistake that's right about there. to happen. And it's completely unscriptural anyway. That's right. And, and so mm. to answer your question, I would, if they are listening to my voice, if they are adhering to, to any kind of uh, yearning to make an impact in the world, then get in touch with me. Because when that old man left my presence, his words could not leave my heart. No, they don't. His you words, almost kind of act like him. His words, <laughs> I, I was, I was, he had a little belly later on. And what did he say? The great men always come out. Come out in front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was about as this tall, but he had this little round thing. And when he would sit in the chair, he would sit, hold on to it. Yeah. He would sit like that, and I found myself doing that. And I had to. Oh, you Jesus. do it all the time. I, I don't think you realize. I don't, I don't, I don't he's he's made an impact, mm, and, and rightfully mm. so, mm -hmm. because I've got. I, I'm concerned about reaching everybody. Yes. I'm concerned about mm -hmm. reaching the down and out as well as the up and out. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned about that, mm -hmm. and so I'm looking for 400 men, women that will submit themselves to this anointing that we might go out and slay giants. How many we got right now? Hallelujah. How many we got? Three of us. Let's go. Hey, I'm concerned about it. three. We can start. Because if you do not see this, God has to, what was the first point? God has to deal mm. with, the, with the David that has problems. Perfecting powerful yep. people for presentation. for presentation. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. In the midst of this bias, in the midst of this prejudice, in the midst of this sectarian mindset, mm -hmm. God is interested in perfecting some yeah. people yes, that are willing to call a spade mm -hmm. a spade, call right right and wrong wrong, mm -hmm. and be able to, to bring people together rather than divide them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That should be the ultimate goal. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's to bring us together. Who cares about our color? The one good thing that we all share is we're human. Yes. And the moment we start seeing something other than that, that's a different story, but we're all human. We're all human and we are all loved equally mm -hmm. by God. By God. And he desires that no one That's should right. perish. That's Doesn't right. matter what your Nobody. skin color it is. So yeah. if you're in a you're in a cruel and vicious environment, mm. physically, in your in your home, in your in your, I've been in some cruel and vicious environments in the church. I'm just telling you, mm -hmm. I've been in some cruel and vicious environments. And, and there were animals on all sides, and, and then there were some in my head, and it was just, it was just really, really bad. Mm. But I did not see that God was cultivating an atmosphere yeah. yes. for me to come out of this victorious. You're gonna come out victorious. Hallelujah. You're going to come out victorious. And mm. all of your, your daddy's demons, all of your past. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it should it's, go away. It's going mm -hmm. to. Because mm -hmm. David's men, when they came out from mm -hmm. that environment with David, after David got delivered, mm -hmm. God began to pour into them. Mm -hmm. And he didn't, he didn't, he took them through war college he did. in he the did. cave. 
and he taught mm -hmm. them how to how war. To war. He did. You know, it, it's interesting. You talk about the past and, and that sort of thing, but you've got to remember that your past does not define you. That's right. And and we have to come to a point, and and you know, you talked before about um, bringing out the truth and and all of that. You know, or I think you said that, Dr. Mel. And the reality is we need to make sure that truth is told. That's right. That truth is, is not swept under the carpet, is not hidden away. Mm -hmm. But at some point in time, we need to stand on that truth yeah. and say, yeah. okay, today we choose to be different going forward. That's right. Yes. What has gone past yeah, was it's wrong. It's in the past. We're, we're, well, yeah, it's in the past, but we're not discounting it. We're not, no. we're not playing it down. What happened, happened. And, and this is global amongst mm -hmm. all yeah. sorts of people. Um, I don't like the word race because I think we are one race, we're the human race, but upon all different cultures, people, denominations, mm -hmm. all sorts of things. Everyone has something terrible that has occurred in their past. But we have to come to a point if we're going to move forward and if That's we're right. going to become unified and work together, we have to stand arm in arm, link our arms and say from this point forward, mm. we are going forward with a to make new... make a difference. Yeah, to make a difference, but we are going forward with one mind and in one That's accord. Right. That's right. What has happened in the past when it does not define us, but let you, let us use this, uh, um, learn the lessons from the past, mm. not make those mistakes going forward. Let's use them as a stepping stone up and let us all choose yeah, yeah. together to change our world going forward. Agreed. And you that's gotta, where it can happen. You, uh, mm. Julene, uh, Mel, you got to have some training in that. Yeah, I, I you, do you, think you're yes, right. Well, you, you can't, it's, but it start with a decision. Yeah, it, it, that's it, right. Yes. First time to have a decision. Choice. That's right. Yes. 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 I, I have, have to, to make that because if that. I choose it, then I'll, I'll walk in that. Yeah. And I'll, I'll be seeking out training And God will draw you to the right person. The yeah. light, exactly. precious faith. Exactly. And mm -hmm. uh, um, I, I, I know that I'm mm -hmm. good soil. I do know that because I've been trained well. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I've been around mm -hmm. the world a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I hit three continents in October. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm just saying that mm -hmm. I've been educated and equipped to be able to be chosen mm -hmm. to come against the yes. bias, yeah. to come against yeah. the, the prejudice, to come against what is uh, uh, mistakenly presented mm -hmm. as the gospel. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm here to help people mm -hmm. that would, uh, would dare to say, hey, choose me. I'm not one of those people. I, I really believe this. I don't know about you, but I really believe that in St. John 4, when the Holy Ghost decided to tell Jesus to go to Samaria, mm -hmm. that I'd have been selected to go. Mm -hmm. See, I wouldn't have been selected to go in another direction <laughs> like the disciples You would have been going. I would have been going. Yeah. I would have mm -hmm. been going, and, and, and I would have been like Philip running down the Ethiopian eunuch mm -hmm. and preaching Jesus <laughs> to them eunuch, yep. out of Isaiah. Come on now. We need people that are not racist. We need people yeah. that are not biased. We need people yeah. that are, I would that none should perish, is Amen. what he said. Mm -hmm. Is that not what Where he said? Where are those people? Mm -hmm. We need them. I em. would that none should perish, but that all should come to mm -hmm. repentance. And so our, our, our quest is to get to a state that even in our cruel and vicious environment that we recognize that God is cultivating. Hey, the caterpillar goes, goes into, the into the cocoon. cocoon. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and this thing starts to transform. Yeah, Change. there's a transformation. Inside that thing. Inside yes. that. Mm -hmm. that cult, it's and a it's, struggle inside and it's that. A, yeah, it's a struggle. It's, <laughs> and it's the bumps that turn it's, into the that's butterfly. That's right. It's the bumps. It's the bumps and the bruises that causes this thing this to thing color. This thing can be so beautiful. Oh, my God. I need you to see that your bumps have a purpose. <laughs> your bumps have a reason. And the things that you have gone through define, do not define, define you. Define you. Mm -hmm. It's where you're going. Amen. I told you this morning that your future is stronger than your past. Mm. Yes, yes, that's a good yes. thing to say. Your I, future that makes so much sense to me. Mm -hmm. That yeah. It's stronger than your past. past. Well, I mean, because your past is your Past. Right. It, mm -hmm. All it did was help you get to the future. Mm -hmm. And personally, and, and so if if, if your past mm -hmm. was stronger than your future, then your past would pull you down. That's right. Mm -hmm. But your past is not. That's why you're continuing 
That's why you're moving forward. Thank you, Jesus. Because your future, the things that God has in store for you, and where you are, you need to see this as cultivation. Mm. You need to. I saw. Um, I saw one of one of my favorite movies. I don't care if you don't like it. Mm. One of my favorite movies is oh. uh, Zorro. Really? Yeah, I like Zorro. Did not think you were a Zorro kind of guy. Yeah. But okay. Uh, he and likes he likes the one with um, Antonio Banderas and um, yes, Captain yes. that's a good Jones. one. Yeah. That is a good yeah. one. Yeah, and and he mm -hmm. goes into the cave, and mm. he's trying to figure out how you gonna teach me to handle a sword <laughs> in a cave, and he's got these ropes and this pawn, and he's doing push-ups on the man's. It's just it's just a weird thing and flips and all this kind of stuff. And Zorro comes out, and he's awesome. Mm -hmm. He's awesome. Uh, we talked about uh, Daniel Son and, and mm -hmm. Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. Mm -hmm. You have no idea. Wax on, wax on. You have mm -hmm. no idea what God is doing right mm -hmm. where you are right mm -hmm. now. You got to learn how to receive the mm -hmm. cultivation. You do. Right where you are. <laughs> and recognize just because you're on lockdown does not mean that you are locked out. Come mm -hmm. on now. Just because Amen. we're we're on <laughs> lockdown, you ought to get locked and loaded. Maybe we put an offering on mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just because we're on lockdown, it's time for mm -hmm. us to recognize yes, it is. that we need to be locked and loaded. Yes, it is. Uh, we sat, I said this earlier this week, as a Marine, we sat on the tarmac when the president came to town. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't go nowhere. We couldn't, we <laughs> ate at the ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, know, wow. We, we sat there with mm -hmm. all all of our gear. Gear and stuff? Because we were anticipating something to pop off. Mm -hmm. and like, we please been, pop off. Yeah, we would have been ready. <laughs> it's time for us to get ready. Get ready. Yeah. Not, not be getting ready, but get ready. Mm -hmm. God is going to use you. I'm telling you, I'm prophesying to you right now. God is going to use you to break down some of the madness that is among the, the ethnic groups. If mm -hmm. you will allow God to shape and make you yeah. and mold yeah. you, you'll allow God to let that, this word continue to come into you and shape your thinking. Amen. Our word for today, folks, is cave. When you go in, it's a cruel and vicious environment, but allow God to change you so that when you come out, it is a cave that cultivated an atmosphere for a victorious exit. Hallelujah. We got to go. I'm Dr. Charles Kent. Julene. And Melanie. With another word fitly spoken. God bless you.